my question for you is we've seen a lot of Frankenstein adaptations over the years. What uh, is, makes this one stand out from all the others? Well, it's their, it's their take on it, and it's really about... It's, it's their Frankenstein is that it's going back. It's really rewinding a little bit, too. And we're giving... Victor, it's called Victor Frankenstein because we're giving the name Frankenstein back to the scientist rather than to the monster. So it is about the science, it's about the scientist, it's about his relationship with um, his assistant, Igor. And through Igor's eyes, you get to know who Victor like, Frankenstein is and why he's doing what he's doing. Because even in Space Girl's book, for instance, she never really explains what his motivation is, really. You know, there's not, there's not a single in, in motivation. He, he, he kind of does it because he can. Whereas we, we felt it was quite important to go back and, and look at what his, his motivation for his values is, you know, and, uh, and what tensions that create. It's a very cinematic story in that sense, you know. And yeah, you do get all the monsters, and you, get, you, get, you also get little monsters that they make up because they're trying to figure out, and, and that's the fun bit as well, you know. So it's, it's kind of given us a much more of an adventurous plan on it rather than the kind of gothic horror plan, you know, because we felt like, oh, this is quite a new story because we're taking it from a different point of view. Yeah, we have a we, 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 we get to the gothic horror so final act, if you like, but the first two acts are very much about these two men and, and how, how the things are really his, his, his best creation, or his, the creation he really makes is, is his friend, he, 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 Igor, because he gives Igor a life, he, he creates a life, if you like, with someone who's actually still alive, you know, because when you find the Igor at the beginning, he's all, he's, he's a broken man and stuff like that, so that, that's what I find interesting. There's lots of nice mm-hmm. metaphors in this movie, to fairly speak about, about, you know, the, the modern Prometheus and and life and, and how Victor himself becomes a monster, if you like, in a way because of his, his singular pursuit of, of, of trying to recreate life, you know, and he creates, and he becomes a monster himself because he, he loses focus on, on what he, why he's doing it and, and the morality of what he's doing as well. So that was a very long answer for a short question. That is a big question. Well, there's a, well, there's a guy. well he, he, he begins the film as up in spot, you know, he, he's all then, you know, that, and then thinks of things up because he says, well, there's nothing wrong with you. This, this, this is what's wrong with you, and then he, he breaks his back for quickly in a very violent scene where he just beats the shit out of him. And so, and so, so that's a good metaphor for the movie itself. It's, 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 you think you know one thing, but actually, you know, he thought, you, you, you know, that's the reason why he gets up right and he reinvents himself because he thinks it gives him back his life and says, you know, there's nothing wrong with you, this is, this is why you are who you are and stop, stop looking at the mud, stop looking at the ground and start looking up again, you know, and, 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 and that's interesting and, and you know, Kikor was never in the Mary Shelley books, I mean, it's a, it's a contrivance of, of the movies, you know, James Whale as well, and, and so we actually used James Whale's version and we kind of, but that was my favorite one to look at, and, and, and Mel Brooks one, you know, and, and, and we actually pay homage to all these movies, and, and the, it was quite a funny film as well, you know, and, and, and it had its song and its speakers uh, uh, occasionally, but then it changes quite into very dark place, you know, because it has to, because it's quite a big subject, isn't it? I mean, then I guess I'm talking about that. I'm sorry. Yeah.